it takes a change to make a change. So stay, stay consistent and believe in yourself. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Hello and welcome to my channel if you're watching me on YouTube, to my page if you're watching me on Facebook and also to my website if you're subscribed to my newsletter on my website. Anyways, I'm still working on my website so that wouldn't be up yet till in another few weeks. So my name is BK Ojomo and um, welcome to my page or to my channel. Anyways, let's get started with this. I got a, um, an email from a, someone that wants to remain anonymous and the question she, she asked me is, I mean she said, hi BK, um, here is um, the question I have for you that, that I would appreciate if you could talk about it. So how do I get started if I have a change? Hmm. That's a very good question and we all have different ways of tackling a change we all have different ways of dealing with a change so i'm just going to tell you what i would have done if it was if it was me or what i've done in the past during all the changes i've had along the line in life the first thing i'll, I'll advise you to do is to identify the change so you first have to know what it is that you want to change. Do you want to move from a town to another? Do you want to move from a state to another? Do you want to change change jobs or do you want to change your look? Do you want to change how you dress? Do you want to change your commute? Do you want to change anything? anything? I mean, change could be on anything, no matter how small it is. It's still a change so first identify that change then secondly make a list on this list you have to write down what the impact of that change is going to be how is this change going to affect you what are the disadvantages and what are the advantages of this change if the advantages are way more than the disadvantage I mean if the disadvantages are way more than the advantages then you know that is not a good change. Now you might want to think about it. So you have to know what you have to benefit from this change. Why you really do need that change. Is this change going to be a career change that you want to make money? If you want to make more money, if you're thinking about change to make more money, is this new career going to be something that you love? Because if you're changing just to make more money and you don't love this particular new job or new career that you want to change to at the end of the day you're gonna get bored with that job so you want to make sure it's going to be something that you love to do like it's a hobby that you're very interested in that you always get excited talking about it so once once you are done adding all this list down, identifying this list, putting the advantage and the disadvantage, the reason why and so on and so forth, then you want to make sure that once you decide to go into this change, that you have this full confidence that you want to go into it. So you have to open up yourself enough to accommodate the change. You have to find a ground, you have to take a day or two out to sit down and think about this change. Then you have to make sure you, you are prepared enough to accommodate this, accommodate this change into your life, to go through this change. Because if you're not ready for this change, then you're going to have a very hard time with a change. So you want to think about that too. Then after, you have to look for a mentor. Look around your neighborhood, look around your friends, older, younger, you know, whoever it is, a man, a woman, if, I mean, it could be anybody. Look around, look for someone that has been through this particular chain before. Look for someone that has walked this road before. If you have any questions that you think it's bothering you or you have any question that you think you really do need answers for, you want to ask this person or these people the questions. Also, you have to read, you have to read, read, read. 
there is a whole lot of articles out there online Google is always your friend go search research 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 there is not I mean researching is not a, I mean, it's not too much as much as you can know and learn about this particular particular change the, the better you know the better you know the better knowledge you have of it when you finally decide to go through this change you have to go a step at a time make make sure that you're going a ladder to another one step at a time do not rush yourself because if you rush yourself to get into it there's something that that is that they always talk about and say if you rush into something then you rush out of it too so you have to plan and go in a step at a time take one step learn from it take another step learn from it move gradually so you can enjoy the change don't just rush into it because you get overwhelmed and that overwhelm and when you get overwhelmed it's going to affect you it's good it's going to bore you and you are going to really really feel it so at the end of the day you get so tired of it that you won't want to do it again or you just get bored or you just hit it it could be anything so just make sure you take a, a step at a time and also when you once you take a step you're learning each step at, on, on of, of the way along the path you're, you're learning as you're moving one one step at, at a time because if you jump up when you get up there everything that you're supposed to learn climbing up you won't be able to learn it so when you fall down it's going to be hard for you to keep up because by that time the people that you left on the way will be more knowledgeable than you are so very be very careful do not rush take it a day at a time a step at a time and while you are on it always stay consistent because consistency is everything do not divert do not think oh I see that person doing it one way I would rather do it that way then you change and you keep changing and changing every other day it's you're not gonna get anywhere because in every change that you're changing you're wasting time you're wasting effort you're wasting money you're wasting a whole lot of things so just stay consistent if this is what you want to do sit down go through it read about it and go through that path don't keep changing be consistent and to end things up, up today or to, to end up the whole thing today I'll say be prepared to fail I know this might sound kind of weird and crazy and stupid but yes it does happen be very very prepared to fail along the line there will be a time where things are not going the right way that you want it to go there will be times that you're gonna fail and fall down but how you pick yourself up is what really matters. Do not forget yourself on the floor. Do not, you, do not leave yourself on the floor. You pick yourself up as many times as possible as you fail. And um, there's one thing in my, in my language, or I would say in my culture that says there's a scar on your body for a reason. The reason why you have a scar on your body is that whenever you look at this scar, it reminds you of the reason why you fail so whenever you look at that scar you will always remember that this particular path that you took and failed you don't want to go back through that path again so that scar is always a reminder that you know what I've been through this road before and it wasn't a good road for me so I'll rather not go through that road again. I'll rather take another another road in order to get to where I'm going. So that is my little advice today. I'm at work right now. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm, I will say I just got done at work. I just really want to put this video out there. So if you have any additional thing that you want to add to what I've said today, please leave a comment down below, and I would love to read it. 
and also the person that asked this question will love to to read more from you too and uh, anyways the secret of a change is not to focus all your energy on fighting the old but on building the new also you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in your ability to create a change it takes a change to make a change so stay, stay consistent and believe in yourself. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Thank you for coming to my channel, my page, my website today. I will also leave my social, me my social media links under this video or on top of this video, wherever you're watching from. And if you want to contact me, my email is bk.ojomo at gmail.com. I thank you so much for coming over today to watch this video i know i just got started so it might look kind of whacked up but you know what it's a change for me too and i'm starting from somewhere so whatever and kind of encouraging words that you have just leave it down below i would really appreciate it and whatever you want me to it to also improve i would love a comment from you guys so thank you for coming for stop for stopping over Always remember to stay consistent in everything you do in life. Be you, stay you, and continue to be you. Love you guys, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.